What readings have you got, Serena? Two three, oh nine, one nine, six three. Gosh, certainly is difficult to run this ship with only three people. Technically two, if you exclude Gail. I mean, what contribution has he made to the ship since we lost half our crew? I just can't believe how rapidly they've gone. Yeah, well, let's be grateful that we're still alive. At the moment. Do you reckon Gail has something to do with it? I hope not. I just. Come on, you two. Can't slack off the job now with a small crew. We're trying our hardest, Gail. If it's not too much to ask, we would appreciate a little bit of effort from you to make work just the slightest bit easier. I'm the head of the expedition, Tristan. I don't have to do the hard work. That's you and Serena's job. But surely you have come to the realization that it has become a challenge to run the ship with only two people. Don't you mean three? But you don't do anything. If I were you, Tristan, I would wash your mouth. Why can't you be like Serena? She never complains about the workload. Because she's too scared to ask a question to you. Because you might give her an answer like the one you're giving to me. Just take this advice, Tristan. Watch yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Now get back to work. That was weird. Yes, you can say that again. Have you noticed that Gail has taken all the sudden deaths well? Now that you mention it, yes. It's rather suspicious. Oh, Doctor, when are we going to land? Hopefully soon, Perry. Can we go somewhere relaxing this time? Somewhere nice, just the two of us? This might give us some time to get to know each other. Since Turlo left. Yes, Turlo. You miss him, don't you? I do, but I'm used to it now. So, where would you like to go? I don't know. Surprise me. Let's let the TARDIS decide. It does have a mind of its own. We could land at any time. Is that meant to happen? Very rarely, flashes. What is it? Distress signal. We better go help that poor soul. We might have to call off our vacation for another day. Great. Did you hear that? It seems to be coming from the docking bay, but we're not getting any notification. Where are we? Looks to be some sort of spaceship. Look, Doctor. It's Jupiter. Oh, fascinating. What's that little planet down there? Can't remember. It looks familiar. Who are you? Wedge Travelers. How the devil did you board our ship? By our ship? Where? You mean that blue box behind you? Yes, this is the TARDIS, my mode of transportation. How did it get here? We didn't get any notification of a ship docking. My ship doesn't dock, it materializes, but that's beside the point. By the way, I'm the Doctor and this is Perry, and who might you two be? I'm Tristan, and this is Arena. Is it just the two of you running this ship? There is our expedition leader, Gale, but he does nothing other than giving orders. Where exactly are you going on this expedition? To Voga. The planet of gold? Yes, have you heard of it? I have, a long time ago. Uh, what happened to the rest of your crew? Well, we don't know. We think there is some sort of bug or virus on the ship. When did it all start? Right when we passed Jupiter. Seventeen people were killed in one week. How did they die? There was a scar on their neck. Like something had bitten them. I want some evidence. Where are the bodies? We got rid of them. What? Gale gave orders to shoot them out into space. He said they were no use to us. That's awful. We tried to oppose the decision, but we have no authority over Gale. Well, I don't believe in authority. Where is he? It's not wise to go into Gale's office without permission. I don't care. Just take me to him. All right. This way. I'll talk to you later. I've got some company. Right, I demand an answer from you as to why you are in charge around here. 
Excuse me? You disgust me. The fact that you shoot your fellow partners is so humane. I'm sorry. Who are you? That doesn't matter. You haven't answered my question. Look, I can explain, sir. Oh, please do, Tristan. We found these two in the docking bay. He's a doctor, sir. A doctor? Interesting. What is your name? The doctor. Just the doctor? Yes. And who is she? My name is Perry. Why did you come here? We answered your distress signal. We sent that out ages ago, and no one came to our aid. Why didn't anyone come? We sent out a distress signal to Earth, but we're too far away to receive immediate help. The last one we sent out was three months ago. How come you received it now? I don't know how to explain it without making it sound complicated. Tell me, why did you decide to travel to Volga? Uh, to discover Volga's movements. Movements? Uh, yes, to see what they're up to. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a mental blank for some reason. I see. Where were the bodies found? In the control room. Their job was to set the coordinates, but whenever they tried to put in the numbers, they would just... Die? Look, I can prevent this if you let me help you. But how can we trust you? After all, you are an intruder. But do you know what we do to intruders? You can trust the doctor. He has helped so many people. And even the name just gives you the impression that he can be trusted. Very well. You can help, doctor. On one condition. You do not interfere with anything that is not your business. Fair enough. Right then, let's get started. Take me to where the bodies were found. This way, Doctor. The one you speak of. He is here. What are your instructions? Is he usually that twitchy and arrogant? Not really. Maybe he's not used to unexpected visitors. Or maybe when the new bosses became in charge. We were originally meant to explore and study Jupiter, but there was a change in command shortly after we became airborne. Who's the boss? We don't know. We don't have the faintest idea. We've never met them. Only Gale contacts them, and he's the one that receives orders from them. Them? Yes, apparently there are three. So Gale is nothing more than a servant to his bosses? If you were to put it that way, yes. Don't worry. It's in the control room. They're going there now. I'll inform you if it has killed them. This is it, Doctor. Are you sure it's safe to go in there? Uh, probably isn't, but we'll never know unless we investigate. Can't we just take some protection in case we get stuck? I don't think that would be necessary, Perry. I've dealt with far worse things than something like this. Well, be careful, Doctor. We'll be right behind you. Thank you. I think I may need it. Can we turn the lights on, please? No, don't shoot it! Everyone, get out! What was that? I've seen one of those before, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm correct. Is there a fire extinguisher anywhere? Yes, right here, Doctor. Now, I'm going to go back in there and try and catch whatever that thing was. Do not shoot. That will just intimidate it and kill us. Right. Open the door. Is it dead? Metaphorically speaking, yes. What was that thing? Just what I thought it was. A cybermat. A cybermat? 
What are they? Killing machine for one of the worst beings in the universe. Who? The Cybermen. Cybermen? But they were destroyed ages ago. That's what everyone has been led to believe. The Cybermen found refuge in the planet Telos. Telos was ideal because the temperature suited their hibernation tombs. Believe me, there is always a group of Cybermen that will call us trouble. So Gale must be working for them. I'm afraid so. Of course! It all adds up now! The Cybermen! Voga! How could I be so stupid? I don't follow, Doctor. Well, it all makes sense. The Cybermen's Achilles heel is gold. It destroys their control units. But I don't understand. What? Well, the Cybermen tried to destroy Voga once before. But perhaps... Yes. What is it, Doctor? Well, this is the fascinating thing with time travel. You never know if you're in the future or the past, or even the present. I encountered a situation once before, when the Cybermen tried to destroy Voga, but their plan foiled, <laughs> thanks to me. Do you think the Cybermen will come here? Not sure. I don't see what reason they have for coming here. In fact, I can't see what reason they have for taking over your ship. Uh, Doctor, we didn't tell you everything. We're carrying several missiles. What? But why? Well, with trading becoming a prominent part around the universe, we decided to send some missiles to Voga to aid them for its protection. But why didn't you tell me? This would explain why the Cybermen have taken over your ship. If we told you what we're carrying, we could get into serious trouble off Gale. You heard what he said about interfering with anything that doesn't concern you? Don't be scared by someone that is a traitor to you and your crew. He doesn't deserve to have an authority over you. How powerful are these missiles? If all used at the same time, they're powerful enough to destroy three planets equivalent to the size of Voga. Oh dear. Oh Doctor, I did warn you but you never listened. How long until you arrive? Well, what can we do to stop them? I'm not sure yet. The news has become all so sudden that I haven't had time to think about it. Plus, the Cybermen aren't exactly that easy to take down. You're going to help them, right, Doctor? Yes, of course I am, Perry. After all, I am a doctor. Do you think that's the Cybermen? Probably. Whatever you do, do not let them dock. I don't think that'll be a good idea, Doctor. Tristan, I order you to dock that ship, or you will end up like everyone else. Move! You're making a bad mistake. You can't bargain with the Cybermen. Shut up. Now, Doctor, you're about to meet the Masters of the Universe, and I'll be there alongside them. So you did this just for the hunger for power? You don't understand, Gale. The Cybermen are only using you to get what they want. After they have finished with you, you will end up like us. Dead. You might know them better than me, Doctor. But I have the ability to work for them, which is something you lack. You're a fool, Gale. A complete and utter fool. Open the door. Welcome, Cyber Leader. It's an honor to meet you in person. You have done well, Gale. You're a good asset to our plans. Thank you, Cyber Leader. You see, Doctor? The Cybermen do appreciate the work I do for them. Trust me, Gale. You won't be important to them for long. So, we meet again, Doctor. It's always nice to see you again, Cyber Leader. You have come to conflict with our plans. That's my job, isn't it? This time, Doctor. You will not stop us from total domination of the universe. We will become the most powerful beings in the universe. Take them away. Let me guess. You took over this freighter to use the missiles on Voga, so it could not become a threat to your attempts to become rulers of the universe. There always seems to be a pattern with your schemes. What did you do to get your hands on the ship? A chance for Gale to become rulers of the universe with you? 
or are you going to turn the crew into psychotic maniacs like you? Don't listen to him. He's just trying to manipulate you. Silence. Our plans have become more powerful, and even you cannot stop us. Once Voga has been destroyed, we have no weakness that can prevent the cyber race from sheer superiority. Wait. Those two there can be of some use to us. Very well. Keep the workers of Gale. Take away the Doctor and his companion. Why didn't you just kill him? Why you had the chance? If we use the Doctor to an advantage where he has to work for us, he can be of some use. And how would you do that? By harming the people he cares about the most. In those situations, the Doctor can become vulnerable. How gentlemanly. What are we gonna do, Doctor? There's always a way. And lucky for us, we're in luck. What's that? It's my sonic screwdriver. Can I destroy the Cybermen? Well, it's not as technical as that. It just simply opens doors. Wow. It may not be much, but it is our source to escape from here. What we have to hope is that there isn't a Cyberman waiting in front of our door. <laughs> Cybermen didn't just lose their emotions, they must have lost their brain. How stupid can you be to not have someone waiting at the door? You better stop gloating, Doctor, before we get caught. Yes, come on. Look, the missiles aren't ready yet. If you just give me a little bit of time, I... You have been given plenty of time to prepare the missiles. Do not let this be a sign of your incompetence, Gail. I wouldn't upset the side leader if I were you, Gail. How did you escape? By magic. Now then, where was I? Ah yes, stopping your plan. You do not need to stop our plans. You will help us. Oh come on, you can do a little bit better than that, can't you? I'm obviously not going to work for you just because you asked me to. But you will work for us, Doctor. You will help us, Doctor, or she will die. No! Don't hurt her! Alright. I'll do anything you ask. As long as you do not harm anyone that I care about. Excellent. Soon, Doctor. You will witness the true destruction of the Cybermen. Prepare for launch. Yes, leader. What is wrong? There is an error, leader. The primitive equipment cannot withstand the power of the missiles. Fix the error. You have failed us, Gale. What? No. I don't know how to work the machinery. That's Tristan and Zarina's job. You will fix the machinery, and launch the missiles. Ah! Uh, but, but I don't know how to work it. I'm only a pilot. Cyber Leader, may I give a suggestion? Why doesn't the Doctor do it? After all, you did say he could be of some use to our plan. You will help us, Doctor. Okay, I'll do what you want. As long as you let go of Perry. You cannot get out of this situation, Doctor. I think I've got the picture, Cyber Leader. But you must always remember that I'll never work for you. What have you done? Well, some of you might think it's a stupid idea, but it seems to work all the time. I've set the ship on self-destruct. So if we die, you die with us. You lie, Doctor. Oh, am I? Self-destruct timer is five minutes. We've just wasted. 30 seconds. Doctor, have you gone crazy? I think I have, Perry. But if I die, at least I'll die knowing that the Cybermen cannot destroy Voga. How does that sound, Cyber Leader? You are wrong, Doctor. You have made a foolish mistake endangering yourself and your companions. We will leave you trapped on this ship to die while we plan our next attack on Voga. We may have failed this time, Doctor, but we will not fail again.
You're not going without me, are you? You have failed the scale. You are not needed anymore. Destroy him. Well, this looks to be the end of us. Don't say that, Perry. Do you two have an escape pod? Yes, we do. Good. You'll need it. Well, this is a rather odd way for us to say goodbye to each other. It was a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Doctor. One minute until self-destruct. There you go to the TARDIS. Good luck. And to you, Doctor. Four, three, two, one. I hope Tristan and Zarina got out okay. I know they did. Look. Thank goodness for that. Well, I certainly wouldn't call this a successful mission. Why not? The Cybermen still managed to escape. Well, yes, but I'll meet up with them again in the near future. Or is it the past? <laughs> I always get them confused. <laughs>